Hey Astronauts, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes! Last we left off, we had just one mission left before we go for the main one. We did everyone's uh, supply, or not supply, support. Ooh, we're gonna get activity point and some other reward. Okay, rescue the sniper and the pellet. Either one's routed. Okay. Easy enough. Boy. The fight starts now. We must. Okay. You can count on me. I'll do my best, please. Excuse me. Let uh, I'm going to be going up there, so... Is this okay? Let's try this. Well, I'll go ahead and... Let's seize that way. one. Come on, everyone! You're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. I beg your assistance at once! There. Man, having Marianne's snowstorm ability is really nice. This mission is going pretty easy. Okay, hang on a second. Defeat the grapplers and rescue the commoner. On my way over to do that just now. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Die. Well, I saved him. Well, that's an... That's a powerful... I wish there were more creative characters in these games. Like the main characters in, um... What was it? Did I meet your expectations? Sniper has been rescued. Come on. Break it. Thank you. Goodbye. Excuse me. I believe I said goodbye. Okay. Uh you can count on me. Guard. Covered. Please. Excuse 
card. Blood, where'd you go? Why are you? Let's try this. I'd better back. Okay, let's go kill this fortress knight. Who leveled up? Claude. Not a bad level up either. Okay, I need you to die now, Fortress Knight. Thank you! I mean... Going. Get in there. You too. Well, that's it, huh? I'm so relieved we could save them. I know just how precious life is. Nah, I didn't get the enemies defeated. Oh well. We still get money! Oh, not the one I want to see. Okay, what do we get? Activity points. New support column station. Retired mercenary lives here. He's willing to train with you. I like you guys, you're pretty capable. One of you is going to get to learn my signature move. For bows? Well, the only one... Here you go, Claude. Claude's combat art is now... Okay. The enemy has already retreated from here. Some useful items have been left behind. Alright. Back to camp. Go to Supply Master. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Collect all. Everything has a Facility piece. Master. Allow me to assist with Attic any Academy. Facilities. Grab that. Sure. Alright, what's this? But yeah, you know what? Let's grab the more ability slots. Let me know if I may be of further service. Ethics instructor. My instruction comes at a high price. Now we'll take that. Ooh. Hey, a new power. All right. Not gonna forget this. Raphael Ignaz Lysithia. Glad I haven't been wasting my Arianne. time. I think it's making sense now. Okay, we'll stop there. Don't neglect your daily studies. Convoy, Leonora. Abilities. Boost critical. Don't need that. Sure. Let's grab that. And then I guess this. 
And this user is an adjutant. Sure. Sure. Wait. She's not any of those. Never mind. Go with that. Um, vantage. Sure. Marianne. Oh. Sure. Okay. Let's see who's got a support. Blood and Lysithia. All right. Hey, Lysithia, you have a minute? There's something I need to talk to you about. Fine. You can have one minute. I might not look it, but I'm actually pretty busy here. Don't I know it? I can't remember the last time I saw you take a break. Anyway, I'll keep it quick. It's about what happened in our last fight. Charging in head first like that isn't like you, Lysithia. And not in a good way. And what, in your expert opinion, makes it so unlike me? All I did was end the battle in the quickest, most efficient way possible. Which in turn kept damages to a minimum. If anything, you should be thanking me. Why are you so angry? I'm sure. But there was a good chance it could have failed, too. You shouldn't leave things up to fate like that. If things hadn't gone your way, you could have lost your entire unit. You and your soldiers alike would be at the feet of the goddess right now. My point is, you need to make decisions hmm. based on strategy, not chance. I thought someone as smart as you would understand that. Yes, yes. That's enough lectures for today. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. But had my unit not rushed in, the battle would have dragged on for far too long. The fighting would have surely raged into the next day. We would have had to revisit our tactics entirely if the enemy changed formations at daybreak. And if things had gone south from there, it could have taken us more days further to finish the battle. I won't insist I made the right decision, but don't imply I didn't consider the possibilities. I was always fully aware that we could fail. But failure didn't even have to be an option. Sure, the battle uh. dragging on would have had an impact on the war at large, but so what? In the grand scheme of things, your life is far, far more valuable than a few measly days of combat. Please, Lysithia, I need you to promise me you won't put yourself in danger like that again. I'm sorry. I can't do that. You know, it's not just your own life you're rolling the dice with. Every single soldier you command would die with pride by your word. So, you're saying I fail as a leader? Yes, maybe I do. Well, feel free uh. to remove me from my post if you don't think I should be commanding troops. That's wholly within your right. Do what you will. <sighs> Until then, I'm going to do what I will. Now, if you'll excuse me. I really don't like Lysithia that much. I don't know what's up with her, but I can't help if she's going to be that stubborn about it. Either way, it doesn't seem like she's changing tunes anytime soon. Guess I'll just have to do what I can to keep her safe in the meantime. Okay. Oh boy, uh, let's go spend our last, uh... What do we have? Uh, support. Huh. Where is she? You know what? This will be faster. Come here, Bernie. Oh, no. Invite. Activities 
planned out. Let's go to the waterfront. But I don't want to be dragged around. I don't really do these often. You arrived at the bank of a breathtaking lake. Serenity hangs thick in the air. You can almost taste it. After enjoying a pleasant stroll, Leonora and Bernadetta decided to take a break. Uh, talk. My mother and I used to go on little trips just like this. Ask about the... Because there aren't any people around to scare me. Sympathize. Oh, yay. Hey, one more. I made us some sweets. Want to eat them now? Uh, come in. The conversation is wildly engaging. Yes! Perfect conversation! Observe. Why are you looking at me like that? Whatever you think I did, I totally didn't do it. Looking for me? Looking for me? Is everything okay? Oh, no. Please. Sure, Please. okay. Looking for me? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you like these tassels? I made them myself. What tassels? Oh, on her sleeve. I messed up cutting my hair, so I pulled it up like this instead. I guess it sort of works. <laughs> Everything okay? Okay, that's enough of that. Um Um this Okay. And we're back. No offense, but that might be the last time I go out for a while. Hey, the charm went up. I forgot. That increases your stats. Oh, hey. I got a support with Bernadetta. Got you down, huh? Anna. Let's see if I have something that can help. Thanks. Hmm. I think I've got just the herb. It's gonna put you out a good few gold coins. But this baby will do wonders for relieving stress. Did you just give her weed? Ah, I've got something a little more, shall we say, tasteful. Real under the table kind of stuff. It's a pot that makes people like you. I would probably recommend against it, but the thing's on sale if you really want it. Uh, you okay there? 
Um, I just remembered something. Oh, how could you forget, Barney? There are lots of scary people out there who pretend to look nice just so they can prey on you. And you must be one of them! <laughs> that was weird. I'm not that scary, am I? <laughs> That's how it all happened. I would have been dragged off and murdered if it wasn't for you. But wasn't that just Anna? She's here all the time selling her wares. I mean, not all of it's the most reputable stuff, but I don't think she's trying to cheat anyone. And she's definitely not a murderer. Well, you don't know that. I should go apologize to her later. Huh? She's not evil? Not that I know of. I'm also pretty sure it's not the first time you've met her. <sighs> I don't know. I'm bad with faces. You're pretty judgmental, you know that? Huh? <sighs> what do we do? What do we do? How about this? There's this merc I've got in my crew. A real terrifying looking hunk of muscle. Sweetest little teddy bear on the inside, though. If anyone Raphael? can overcome this, it's him. Okay, I accept this challenge. You've got this, Bernie. That's gotta be Raphael, right? Let's see if Anna has anything before we go into this battle. Welcome. Don't pass this by. Yada yada. And I don't mean the seals. Okay. Come back soon. Go ahead and save it. After all that engaging stuff. To battle! An advanced seal for completing this. Clash at Ayla. I just saved the game. From the looks of it, I'd say the Knights of Saros have the Imperial forces on the back foot. The Imperial army is being led by Randolph, one of Count Burgley's relatives. He's supposed to be quite a formidable warrior, but then again, he's up against Thunder Catherine. Hard to consider him the favorite in that fight. Oh, I remember Catherine now. Looks like the battle will be decided anytime soon. We can afford to take our time. He has that lightning sword. Bad for the Imperial Army if we don't bail them out soon. I'm sure they will, but if we rush in without a solid plan, we'll be the ones getting stuck with the business end of Thunderbrand. We'll swoop in with a surprise attack right when their defeat seems all but certain. For now, we should prepare for the battle ahead. I've seen that look before. Claude's got another scheme brewing. Does he? I still can't tell what's going on in that guy's head. I like how no one comments. We're talking, you know. Okay. Fleet foot. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to grab the. You know. Is Ignatz is participating in this battle. Convoy! Ignatz, I'm sorry buddy, but you're going to change back to a thief. You are on the board, yes? Okay. Change unit. Yeah, let's make it Leone. Time to bring down our quarry. Fight. We should move. Ignorance. I think this will go well. I'm going. Yeah, I'll back you up. All right. Here, I better back him up. Whoa, I should go help. You can count on me. 
I'll do my best. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. We'll kill him and Marianne. Please, excuse me. Is this before the Imperial Army is wiped out? Launch the surprise attack. What army is that? Wait, are they attacking us? Uh, flying cat. Yeah, I thought so. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can unmount, can't you? Ignat, you guys think this will go well. are gonna seize that base. How am I supposed to stop? Am I gonna lose because this guy? Who's this? Randolph von Burgley's. The Federation Army has come to our rescue. I thank you. We don't have to worry about attacks from the rear now. Well, that guy's going to die. No I need Marion, and I need Marion now. I... You know, it would be smart if you guys didn't stand in the fucking lava! Oh my freaking gun. Take a breather. If we really want to take out Thunder Captain, this is the best way to play it. Why? Is something wrong? No, it's not. For a surprise attack to be successful, it needs to be executed quickly. Like that's what I read in the book on tactics, anyway. I'm not there. Like, what am I supposed to do? Now we can cover ground more quickly. You can sense you're outmatched, can't you? You have no hope of winning. Surrender now. You can't go through that way. Go we'll kill this one. Please tell me this is the last enemy I have. Nope, Claude has one. I've been gradually gaining reinforcements. Now is my chance to seize victory. Goodbye. Did I level up? Yes, I did. Yeah, not bad. Exactly, not bad. All right. We did it. Now the Imperial Army can rally their forces. We'll hold here until all the commanders going to aid Randolph reach the stronghold. 
Oh, what? I can't get through there. I think this will go well. You all can take that one. Ooh, nice level up. You go work on that one. Keep an eye on the bottom. Did I just lose? I hope to help them after surrounding the knights. There just wasn't enough time. I guess running away is our only option. Do not let any of them escape. We take all of them down right here, right now. All right. Let's try you heard this. yourself, Claude. Me? Not a problem. Go after that one. I've got this. Where is Ignat? I think this will go well. Nice if he is working on that one. One, two. Three. You guys can go help Claude. This is Constance. Swiftly to aid. I have no clue who that is. And happy. Now that one. We're in hot water now, Kathy. 
She's from the DLC. If we can convince some of them to surrender, we'll reduce our number of casualties. I don't think she's a knight. She might surrender if we talk to her. We can't let a single one get away. We have to whittle down the church forces as much as possible. Seize all stronghold. Persuade. Yeah, the fire's really doing in my characters. Gotta keep pushing myself. Good job, Leone. Alright. So we are to claim victory by sacrificing the Imperial Army? How is this conscionable? Sacrificing our allies in order to win? Is that really the kind of leader you are, Claude? <laughs> I am to my powers under the darkness of night. Hi, Constance. Hi, Happy. Catherine. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? I do think that was kind of fucked up of Claude. Will I defeat you this easy then? Or how about this easy? I will never let you lay a finger on Lady Rhea with those filthy hands. Can I have that sword? It appears that none of the church's soldiers have survived the battle. What about our allies? The Federation troops sustained minimal casualties. However, the Imperial forces appear to have been wiped out. That includes General Randolph. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell everyone to start getting their things together. Yes, Your Majesty. Oof. Not one enemy made it off the battlefield alive. From a tactical standpoint, that's an ideal outcome. At least, it's supposed to be. That still leaves me with a bad taste in my mouth. Even so, the only way I can go is forward. 
Now that I've taken this first step, there's no turning back. Not after what I've already done. These hands will never be clean again. Gotta get stronger. Dang. I didn't get her sword. I found strength in Nice. Well, obviously, yeah, that's me. Oh, nice. Marianne's heal leveled up. Leone mastered Paladin. Wing Thresher? Thunderbrand! We got her sword! A Wing Thresher? Okay. I'm happy that I got happy. The Warlock, they're both Warlocks. Ten Renown, huh? Claude, what happened out there? You left those Imperial troops to die. Was that your plan all along? I wanted to win that battle with as few casualties on our side as possible. What other choice did I have? You had plenty of other options. Did you really think we couldn't handle it? Our military capabilities only go so far. We can't risk losing even one of our capable commanders, no matter how unlikely that might be. But that kind of thinking got Randolph killed. You signed that pact. Wasn't he supposed to be our ally? I don't see the value in sacrificing lives that we might have been able to save. How does that make you any different from the nobles who just throw mercenary lives to the wind? Am I going to be next? Of course not. I could never replace you. Please, you've got to understand that. You should I... listen to what your commander is saying, your majesty. Everyone else feels the same way, myself included. You're the king of the Leicester Federation. You have to conduct this uh... in a way that inspires people to follow you. I hear what you're saying, but what good does it do if we fight honorably just to lose? Why are you assuming we'd lose? You should know better than to write off your own army like that. Don't you agree, kid? You need to have more faith in us. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to put our faith in you. You're not fighting this war by yourself. Uh. We're all a team here. So you need to sit down and have a long, hard think about what that really means. Okay. I'll give it some thought. But I can't guarantee I'll arrive at the answer you want me to. I'm going to follow the path I believe in. That's what I set out to do as king. <sighs> Let's just make sure Randolph's remains get back to the Empire for a proper burial. I don't trust Claude anymore. Golden wildfire. Love and loss. The formation of the Leicester Federation astonishes onlookers in all corners of Fodlan. But the treaty between the Federation and the Empire proves to be an even greater shock. Claude decides to send troops into the kingdom. However, his rash actions only spawn more problems, one of which is currently creeping towards him. What's that? What? Randolph, why have you come back to me like this? Lady Flesh, please, you must get a hold of yourself. My brother, how did this happen? Lord Randolph fought bravely against Thunder Catherine. He managed to create an opening for the Federation army to swoop in and rout the church's forces. It was a crushing victory. For the Federation, that is. What? You were there? But the Federation said there were no survivors from the Imperial Army. When it became clear what transpired, Lord Randolph bid me and only me to escape with my life. He did this so I could tell you, Lady Flesh, how his death came to pass. He did? 
The King of Leicester used us as decoys. He was able to seize victory by leaving us for slaughter. When I think of how tragic it is that Lord Randolph should be cut down in the prime of his life. He was left to be slaughtered? They must pay for what they've done. I swear to you, dear brother, I will not let them get away with this. Please, I implore you, gather what soldiers you can. Skilled mercenaries too, anyone you can find. I will empty our vaults. Borrow money from the Count. Whatever it takes to pay them. But Lady Flesh, whatever for? For revenge against the King of Leicester. I will have his head. Understood. I will make the arrangements at once. Um. <laughs> that was almost too easy. Huh? You feeling any better? I have to say, I'm still not used to this new look of yours. That makes two of us. But it will bother me less once I'm on the battlefield. I sure hope that's the case, because we've already got our next job lined up. We're going up against the Alliance again. Oh, no, wait, they're called the Federation now. Well, you know who I mean. To be honest, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this one. It's probably just because they're paying an arm and a leg for us, but... Be careful, okay? I will. You do the same. Oh, right. I've been meaning to give you this. What is Never used to be without it. Cuts like a dream. I want you to have it. So oh. like this are given to captains of the Knights of Saros, and mine was just collecting dust in the band's convoy. That's right. Alois mentioned you used to serve there. That was a lifetime ago. I don't plan on swinging this sword ever again. But are you sure you want to give it away? It must be quite special to you. Uh, I'd be happiest seeing you get some use out of it. Thank you. I'll do that. Be good to it, all right? Ah. It's been a while since we last gathered here. I wasn't sure there'd ever be another roundtable conference again. It's still a good way to pool our information, right? Much easier than trying to hunt each of you down individually. Um, but... Is it really okay for us to be sitting here with everyone else? Should us commoners even be here at all? Of course. I want you all here. And if you have something to say, don't hold back, alright? If that's the case, then I'll just say it. I'm starving! Raphael! Okay, Raphael, maybe hold back a little. Let's check in with how things stand across the Federation. Any shifts in public opinion? For the moment, at least, it remains unchanged. Despite our declaration of war on Lady Rhea and the Central Church, the individual churches in our cities and villages have remained calm. So long as services continue as they always have, we may not see any particular unrest among the common folk. Okay. The same in Ordelia territory. My father didn't try to sugarcoat the news when he announced it to our people. But surprisingly, there haven't been any signs of disorder. The same goes for Goneril territory. If anything, things seem more stable now than before. That's why I'm able to keep fighting alongside all of you. This is also true of Edmund territory. I guess no one in Leicester is all that upset about Lady Rhea becoming our enemy then. I doubt most commoners would even recognize Rhea. So I guess it makes sense they wouldn't care too much about her. Then it seems we've avoided the worst case scenario. All that work from the Eastern Church must have really paid off. The Eastern Church? It's the branch of the Church of Saros that covers the Leicester region. They don't have much of a presence compared to the Western Church, but their bishop is a really upstanding individual. Okay. The bishop advised the regional priests to respond calmly to the news, so they wouldn't cause panic in their congregations. All things considered, it looks like continuing our war against the Central Church and Fargus won't be a problem. <sighs> so we're really Except... going to the kingdom, huh? It's our best hope of ending this war quickly while maintaining our independence. To be clear, I'm not suggesting we burn our way through Fargus, pillaging everything in sight. Yes, we're going to defeat the kingdom and wipe the central church off the map. But we're going to do so in a way that spares as many lives as possible. And that's why you're all here. I want to tap into your collective wisdom to figure out the best way to go about this. So you finally decided to rely on your friends a little. Don't mock me, Judith. I've depended on all these fine people this whole time. I just figured I could be making even better use of their strengths. 
If anyone has any thoughts about my methods, I'm all ears. I need your help here. You can count on us. Isn't that right, Ignatz? The frame rate. Right. We all need to work together to end this war. Well, I guess if you need our help that badly, who am I to say no? And what do you think? Hey, you can count on me. And not just for my muscles, either. I'm pretty sure I've got some wisdom kicking around up here. Such confidence. I assume this is because you're finally putting some faith in me. I'm so glad you've come around. I have That's no exactly clue who you are, Armel. Then without further ado, let's figure out our next move. The Kill! Has come to put my intellect to good use. You will be the mouthpiece for my thoughts, I trust. Don't get too carried away, yeah? They're not expecting much from me here. Okay. Only one battle? Huh. Weird. Battle suggestion. What do we got? Hmm. Don't be shy, speak up if you got a suggestion. What if we do this instead? Uh, let's see, focus on developing flexibility. I've got an idea. The, so I choose either swords, bows, or lances. Here's what I had in mind. Uh, swords. I've got this under control. One step at a time. Sounds good to me. Let's get rolling, everyone. Okay. Ooh. Oh. I carry a little I items. Mmm. <gasps> oh. I'll see you again soon. Supply master. You. Supplies are the lifeblood of Collect. Give me. Okay. We'll trade in just a second. Um, what do I need? Spend. Lavish and elite. Can't wait to see how you do. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Oh, that took all my smithing stones. Uh, deliver equipment. Sort. Okay, then. If these aren't a Whipped. They're no good to me. Oh, uh, well, I'll hold on to that one. Uh, I'll hold on to that. That. And trade. I need ten of these. Everything has its use. Training can be the difference between Expand. defeat. Unlocks master class. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Uh, item shopkeeper. Let's check with Anna first. <laughs> Welcome. 
Uh, Master Seals. 4,500 from her. I carry a little of everything here. Okay, they're the same price. For quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Welcome. Nothing but the best for you. I don't need any of that. Like, I need it, but I don't need it, need it. Alright, well. Thanks a bunch. Let's go get ourselves. Three master classes. Time to work you into shit. Player class. Leonora. Wyvern Lord. A rank. Yes. Claude. You're becoming a Barbarossa. Finally. That... And then we have Lysithia. Who's going to be... I can... I got Lysithia or Marianne. Let's go ahead with Lysithia. No matter the path, I'll forge ahead. Yeah. Time to train. Hold the or here. Leone. Um. I guess fighter. Excessive. Fire class. Where is Lindhart? Dark Mage. Okay, um, Leone. I'm thinking about. Let's go ahead and actually just swap Leone over now. Because I want her to be a monk. Because I might turn her into the mage Pegasus Knight. Nice. I'll master this. Time to work Fire class. Leone. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll acquire both of them that way. Ding. Sure. Oh wait. Whoops. Did I make her the mage already? Definitely. Okay. Well. Too late now. Okay, well, she got the hang of it. Just gotta let my muscles do their thing. Can't wait. 
wait to see it in action. That should come in hand. Not that there's any point in me getting strong. Okay, so she finished Sniper. Um... Sure, have Monk. Oh, I'm out of point. Time to work you into shape. Can't wait to see how you do. Convoy. Leone. I didn't mean to make you a mage. So let's turn you back into. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly talk to everyone. The easiest time to be hunting a mighty beast is when it is stalking other prey. Then you can be hunting both together. Claude is thinking like a good hunter. But people here are thinking this strategy is not good. In Bridget, we would be giving him praise. Hello. Did you know I've been pretty anxious to go against the Central Church. Everyone in my territory believes in the teachings of Seros. Even if they aren't all devout followers. Thank goodness there weren't any riots. I suppose that's all due to the Bishop of the Eastern Church. Speaking of which, apparently Judith had a word with her before all this happened. I hear they've been good friends for a long time. That probably helped smooth things over too. You know, the longer I'm in this army, the more I run into people I don't want to see. It'd be bad news if they figured out where I am. Ha, you're talking about debt collectors, right? I'm happy to help pay off a bit of what you owe. A bit isn't going to do much, you know. I don't think you appreciate just how up to my eyeballs in debt I am. Anyways, that's not what I'm talking about. It's people from my old home. But let's just forget about all that. Want to go grab some food? Your treat, of course. Hey, Leonor, I wanted to thank you again. Uh, sure. Thank me for what? You've taken a weight off my shoulders. I'm grateful for that. You and Judith really let me have it after I let Randolph die. That gave me the push I needed to stop getting caught up in my own ideas and discuss them with people. I'm counting on you, you hear? And not just for your brawn, but your brains, too. Hi, Arbel. It's quite difficult to get people to band together for a common cause. Each person is their own entity, which means they have differing desires and goals. And yet, since ancient times, people have thought it wise to try and unify all those viewpoints under a single king. I wonder how long it will be until we break free from that custom. Did you need me? I knew we'd eventually have to fight the kingdom, but I really don't want to. I've just been thinking of, of all the times I visited the Blue Lions classroom at the academy. Uh, it's, yeah, isn't it a little late for second thoughts? You've already fought against your friends in the Empire. That's exactly why I feel sick about it. I've gone through it once already. Words are seriously the worst. I hope we can put an end to the, all this soon. Hey, Shamir. Well. How's our leader holding up? Or I guess I should call him King now. It was a tough call to sacrifice his a uh, allies like that, but he can't start second-guessing himself because of it. He might still do that. He could still slide in that direction. But we re really let him have it. I'm sure he'll be fine. I certainly hope so. Because if he makes a mistake, we're all dead. I don't understand people who choose to bicker about the whys and hows of battle when the outcome is always the same. No matter what choices are made, blood will always be shed and countless lives will always be lost. In my opinion, people have an unfortunate tendency to overthink the means while woefully underthinking the ends. But the ends don't always justify the means. Bigger problems will come up if we only focus on the results without reflecting on the methods used. Perhaps, but my point remains the same. No matter what means we use or ends we seek, this is war. People will suffer and people will die. You see, 
<laughs> well, I'm certainly glad Claude abandoned that self-righteous attitude of his. However, he has yet to earn my full trust. This is but a mere step down the path to true kingship. I will be immensely disappointed if the coming battles do not mold him into the kind of king I want to serve. If that does not come to pass, it will be exceedingly difficult for me to accept his plans for Lester. Ernie? Yep. A bunch of stuff changed all at once, and now I have no clue what's going on. Why can't our enemies just stay the same? I can't keep up. Don't say it. I know, I know, you're right. It's my fault for shutting myself away. Hey, Raphael? Hey, you're better at studying than me, right? Could you teach me how when you've got the time? I've been wanting to get back to it, you know, since we didn't get to finish the school year at the Academy. That's great, Raphael. I'll do whatever I can to help. Thanks. I get absolutely nowhere when I try to study on my own. I probably won't ever be as smart as the others, but I want to make sure I'm not holding them back. Oh, there's Happy. I see we were the only ones whose lives were graciously, so graciously spared. Yeah, but we weren't really part of the Imperial Army or the Knights of Saros. We'd probably be dead right now if we hadn't sided with the Federation, huh? Pretty scummy if you ask me. Yeah, I give a big... I don't think that's a foregone conclusion. Not that it would have been up to me. That's not nearly as reassuring as you think it is, and here I thought you had our backs. We are like a pathetic little boat that has been tossed into the stormy tides of war. Bye. I cannot definitely say that Claude made a mistake during the battle in ALO. He sacrificed one person to, person to ensure the rest of us would survive. If he hadn't done that, my friends might not be here today. As long as the war continues, people will suffer, both our enemies and our allies. I think it's only natural to want at least want to at least protect those closest to you. But in truth, no one person's life is more valuable than another. It is never right to sacrifice someone. And so, all I can say is that I want the war to end as soon as possible. That is all. I'm glad to see his majesty's in a much better mood. He should be fine now. Ha! <laughs> you act like you his older sister. Older sister, eh? You flatter me. She's more like a mother. She strikes me more as more of a mother figure. She's got this maternal love thing going on. Ha! <laughs> it's true, I'm certainly always scolding him like a parent. The mere thought makes me think of his majesty's true mother, Lady Tiana. She was a woman of exceptional beauty. And if I recall correctly, she was a close friend of yours, Judith. That's an understatement. We were like sisters. I could talk to Tiana about anything. It was such a shock when little Claude just turned up one day with a letter from her. Ah, so that's why you've always supported him. Even before he became the Alliance leader. Of course, my best friend asked me to help him. But he hardly needs me anymore. That boy's gonna do just fine. Two more. What do we got? Leone. Gerald's mercenaries should still be working for the Imperial Army. We might not get another chance to battle them now that we're fighting the Kingdom and the Church. Sure? I wouldn't say that. Mercenaries can always change employers, so we don't know for certain they won't ally with the Kingdom. Sure, but I doubt the Empire would let such a valuable asset go. Wait a sec, we might fight alongside the Imperial Army at some point. Which means we could end up fighting with them as allies. That would be amazing! Hey, Ignatz. I was flabbergasted that a commoner like me was allowed to participate in the round table. I guess we're really starting to see some changes now that we're the Federation. Right yeah, it's hard to believe that commoners can have a say in the government. Yes, I need to get accustomed to espousing my own viewpoint as well, instead of just following all orders. Alright. With that, Eskenites, we're going to call this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Oscanites, share the love. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.